and we just are, we're, I can't tell if we're really good influences on each other or awful influences on each other. <laughs> I can't tell. It's one of the two. It's probably both. Who knows? Anyway, getting into this first game on Pokemon Stadium 2, the better iteration of Stadium, controversially. That's probably the most controversial thing I've said all day. I'm, on, I'm honestly going gonna, gonna to be real with you. I actually don't even know why we have PS2 over PS1. I don't, I mean, to be honest, I like both of them. I, I literally just, I like this one because we play on it. <laughs> getting into this, we got, okay. This matchup is interesting. I've seen it a lot in Smash 4, like if it was Ryu, right? Yeah. Um, wow, Cod is drifting with that forward smash. Ketchup, he's very, if I'm not mistaken, he did play this matchup, like, not like super often, but I've seen him play it in Smash 4, and he was very knowledgeable. Like, oh, man. In Ryu, you know, not Ken, obviously. Yeah. But it's similar, very similar, very similar. It is very similar. The only difference is that Ken, Ken's feet damage is higher Ooh. than Ryu's, as, as opposed to, like, Ryu's, like, uh, base... Like hand damage is more, right. more and right. it's a lot quicker. He doesn't have the orange fireball like slow Tatsu. But, yeah, you know. But other, other than that, like neutral wise, it's similar. And got him with that confirm into the. I don't know what that is, but I, I'm just gonna call it crescent kick. Is that crescent kick? Um, I, the kick where he's down. That one. I'm so ignorant when it comes to what his moves are called. I just know what they look like. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, air. like Tatsu, Shoryuken. Well, yeah, those, of course. Focus attack. Got him with that back air to secure the stock, and Nito has the lead right now in game one of this winner's quarters. Ketchup not letting him get back onto the stage. Nito went for two. Tried to forward smash his roll get up maybe, but Nito not biting. Sure you can add a shield. Was that a shield? And here's the thing with Junior, his air to air is very good. Uh, those, his back air and his forward air, they're, <clears> th those aerials, they cover a lot of space and they're very strong and they stay out for a very long time. Yeah, I was going to say, the timing on the, on the like his forward air, his back air, his nair itself too, like, right. it does have a lasting hitbox. You kind of have to really respect. He did have that edge guard, but he went for the up E and it didn't, like, connect. But he kind of doesn't really make up too much for in terms of, like, it's kind of rude because I wouldn't really know where to put Junior. Um, if they were a tier list for, for, for sure, I wouldn't know where to put Junior. But where he like, where I feel like where he lacks is where he makes up for in long-lasting hitboxes. Long-lasting hitboxes, amazing combo game, pretty decent neutral, and a re good recovery. This character honestly has a lot. Yeah. Um, the toolkit's pretty like pretty so solid. Is Nito. Oh yeah, Nito and, and if you're, Ken. If you're, if yeah. you're around Ken, man, it's you don't want to be in that range. And Nito right now, he is just he's in the lead. He has the he's. In the driver's seat right now. Oh, this is up air into Nair. Well, not right now because Ketchup's bringing it back. <laughs> Went for the jab on shield. I believe he thought he dropped shield. Yeah, and he kind of stopped but he there. Yeah, he realized that, okay, it didn't didn't work out. Not going to commit to the full jab. Has him off stage. How's he going to get this edge guard runoff? Went for the runoff oh, forward I th air. I thought he was going to try to spike him there, especially off the stage. Maneuvered around the cannonball to get back to the stage, and this is dangerous for Ketchup. Ketchup can't afford to take any more straight hits from Ken. Oh, good parry. Needs to get the stock as soon as he can before it's too late. I feel like that might have been a misinput for coming out from Nido. Because I, I don't think he meant to Tatsumaki, Tatsumaki there. I like the way Ketchup's using his uh, his cannonball. Oh, I think he went for a tech on the platform. Or he wanted oh, the tech. Oh, the that's, yeah, yeah, this, this is it. Yeah. This is definitely it. Especially at the ledge. Down tilt actually does stick its up out too as well. It looked like Ketchup held in during that uh, down tilt chain at the, towards the end, but probably might have just like given up and like, okay, just kill me. I feel Let's like it's, yeah, it's it's common reaction too because you don't want to like hold away because you're right. afraid of getting off the stage. I mean, he down tilted like like more than usual. Mm -hmm. So it was like he had more than enough time to react, but it was more. I felt like it was more of, a, okay, let's get to the next game. Just, yeah. All right, let's go for it. I'll, I'll take the loss. Let's come back to the next game. Refresh mind. Taking in what I learned from game one. All right, sticking to the same characters. All right, Ketchup picking Town and City. I believe this is a good stage for Junior, according to Ketchup, at least, from what I've uh, spoke to him about. Junior has a lot of space to play around, set up his Mecha Koopas, uh, and mix you up in neutral with side B. You do it right now. Got him with these up throw combos. Here comes the combos. Up air, up air, back air. Junior does have a very potent combo game. You're going to be taking a lot of damage the second he touches you. Grabs yeah. you, side Bs you. That's a, like, that's, you're taking damage. 
caught his jump there. This should be it. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Forward air does have a lasting hitbox, and he's it actually gives him enough time. And it sticks out a little bit too. You have to be careful about it. Ken's recovery is significantly worse without his jump. It just makes it very easy to edge guard. He just dropped down and hit him. Yeah. Got him with that 57% combo off that grab. Oh man, he keeps it going. And the minute he sees the focus tech, he kind of stops himself. He's like, okay, I'm gonna go for the landing and then catch him on the landing. Teching away that time after the Tatsu. Because originally he was getting punished a lot for teching in and teching in place. Nice. Side B to come back on the stage. Sets up Mecha Koopa. I have the first that I have been paying attention to see it too. Retreats to ledge there. Doesn't want to get punished. That was like Bayo esque from four where she'd use all her she'd use all her resources, doesn't want to land with lag, so she'd retreat to ledge. As you should. Sometimes when you try to come back to take center stage, Ooh. right, your opponent will just read the landing. And then you either take damage or lose a stock. Sometimes it's better to just reset yourself because that ledge invincibility. Right. Oh, definitely. Definitely. You don't want to land with lag and get punished. Might as well just land on the ledge with invincibility and then get off, like reset to neutral from there. And Ketchup is dominating this game right now. Definitely playing it much different than he did the first game. Not dropping his confirms as much. Oh, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, no, of course. Uh, I feel like, okay, so in this game, it's much more prevalent. They fix it back and four. Uh, Junior, if you hit the cart, uh, right. you won't, he won't take as much damage. Not as much damage. That's right. But also, outside of the car management. Also, town ceiling is pretty high, but even then, he was pushed to the corner, not really yeah. the top. Oh, he's still going to do. Okay. He's still on his third stock. How's he going to tech? Okay, tech in place. Not even tech in oh. place. Miss tech and in neutral into, into regular getup. Got him with the up air into the top of the Shoryuken there. Nito securing the first stock. Let's see if he's able to bring this back, but Ketchup still playing with dominance right now. Looking like he hasn't even lost his stock. Cottage jump is going to be a lot of damage. Ooh, I think he expected him to jump instead of like just side being straight into him. Because usually juniors would side beat and they mix you up by like hopping out of the side beat. Yeah. Right? Or they either do the wipeout. I'm sorry, it's not the wipeout. Spin out. Spin out, there you go. It's close. Think of that PS1. Punishing game. him for catching that Mecha Koopa. And that's one thing, like that Mecha Koopa is both a threat and a bait because uh like you It's a projectile, it has a hitbox, right? Explodes you try to, in your you, face. You try to grab it and then he'll punish you for grabbing it. Exactly. And if you shield it, he'll run up and grab Ooh, it. The while focus it's attack and he kinda got caught by the tail end of the jab. That's good stuff from from um, from Getcho. He definitely kinda had him really cornered there. Like touch the shield and just immediately tosses away. Is that gonna be okay, I was gonna say. If I were Nito at that point, being off stage, I try to take advantage of the fact that Ketchup's out there with me. Landing with that focus. How's Is there a parry or this? not? No. Ooh. That was a good option because that's one of the like uh, the one thing that like Ken has slightly so not too much is the fact that some of his hitboxes do kind of stretch out there, especially right. in terms of his feet. But even then, I feel like he meant to like dash, not knowing that you can't really like after shielding all those hits, you can't really dash and full punish. Oh, uh, yep, up air. Unless maybe he went for a parry on the last hit, like if he tried to read when he'd like let go, go for a parry, dash forward, F smash, potentially. That's yeah. Oh, and the, the Mecha Koopa saving him there yeah. at 181%. The thing, to you, the thing too is uh, Ken up is throw? actually like heavyweight. Oh, okay. I, don't think I thought it was going to up throw him, dude. I don't know if it's up throw kills. I don't know why I imagined it would kill. Went for the spin out there, got hit out of it, 26% on ketchup. Now he's sweating. Definitely. I, I would be sweating. 202 on Ken? Come he on. Jumped over the Mecha Koopa. Okay. That's it, yeah. That's. <laughs> that wasn't even this. That was just like, look at him. Look at look at Lubick just chilling. He's like, yep. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I, I took myself across stage and what? He didn't even spin out or anything. He just like drives into you. He runs you over and you instead of like going under the cart, you go straight up. What was that thing in Halo? Vehicular manslaughter? That's what it was right there. <laughs> Vehicular manslaughter. I'm trying not to make. I'm not. I'm trying not to make a joke right now. Oh God. <laughs> I'm trying, dog. I feel like I'm I know. I, 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 feel trying, like, I feel like I feel like I know where it's going. Trying so hard, bro. Twitch.tv for us. I charged to King Sereza. Thank God that character got nerfed. Sacrifices had to be made. Anyway, <laughs> getting into game three on Kalos. All right, spacing him out with the Mecha Koopa and the Cannonball. I like the way Ketchup like, uses the Cannonball to make it so that you can't just jump over the Mecha Koopa. Exactly. You can run up and shield the Mecha Koopa, but like it puts like shield is a little bit laggier, right? In this yeah. game, yeah. Eleven frames of shield drop, a little bit more shield stun. Junior can actually run up and grab the Mecha Koopa while it like falls over. When it falls over, it's actually active for you to pick up. Yeah, but, and it actually resets the timer too. Right. Yeah, it resets because there's, there's a grab timer and then there's a there's a walking on the ground timer. Yeah, it'll it'll turn back to you, so you kind of feel pressure from both sides because the Mecha Koopa goes away from you and then back at you on your shield. Right. And then Cannonball, you're forced to jump out, which Ketchup has to call out. 
Ooh, got him with the landing hitbox or forward air. A hitbox that's like, it surprises you every time you see it. Got him with a strong jab. How's he gonna get the stock off stage? Goes for the up B to catch his other up, you know, catch his up B to ledge. <laughs> Speaking of uppies at the ledge. Caught his jump with that Shoryuken, something I've seen Nito do countless times before. Yeah. Catch up right now has lost the lead in this game three, and Nito right now is looking to rack up this extra damage. Ooh, went, Ooh. For, the, went for the hammer, I think, off the, the upbeat, but didn't quite get it. That's harder to do in this game because the knockback is so much quicker, so reacting to it and getting the right timing for like upbeat, like explosion into hammer is very difficult. Got him with a lingering cannonball to make sure he doesn't immediately neutral get up. But Nito was like was mindful of it. Not gonna kill just yet, but he is far enough off stage to get an edge guard. Oh, the hitbox did not hit catch yeah. up, unfortunately. Punishes high Tatsu on stage. Nito probably expected it to connect, but he was a little bit like it ended a little bit before it got to him. Oof, that damage. Got him with that quick landing hitbox oh, in. Nope, still out there. Nito taking a lot of control. The one thing that we, I do like from Ketchup, too, is that he's looking to make sure he's trying to get away and around Nito, but unfortunately, the one time he tries to come back. Caught his side beat in with that yeah. Shoryuken. Oh, it's going to be big damage, though. Didn't quite get the side of up air he wanted. Usually, Junior will try to hit you with the back hit of up air to continue up air, up air, up air, up air, back air. But mm -hmm. there, he was only, get, only able to get up air fair. And you might be wondering how I'm so versed in his combos. I've been comboed by this man so many times that I just have them memorized. Ketchup is playing Im like immaculately right now, not letting him off the ledge. Punished his roll up with that side oh, beat. Oh, and the back air too. He felt he definitely felt the fear on Nito for sure. Right there, Nito used the focus, and then Ketchup recognized that he would not hold the focus for long. Yeah. So he waited for him to drop the focus, reacted to the way he dashed away, or he, the way he like. Oh, moved could have punish. All right, up air, up air, able to focus out of it because it's not like it's not something you can air dodge out of, if I'm not mistaken. At least maybe at that percent. But Nito opting for the focus instead, tried to get a punish instead of just air dodging to like down to the ground, maybe getting frame trapped. Missed the backer off that side B. Caught his jumps in and Ketchup's caught on. So a lot of what Nito's, a lot of Nito's neutral wins have been from full hops in, punishing Ketchup's either his Mecha Koopa, Mecha Koopa pulls. Oh, forward smash. Wow, forward full jab. Smash no, into... it's not gonna do it, but it gets him off the stage. If, I was going to say, if Ketchup might be going for the classic up -y. Oh, no jump. That's it. Yeah. Yep, that's <laughs> it. That's it. Well, I mean. Oh, he used the focus to make it back. That was incredible. He was literally a goner just a second ago, too. And if it weren't for the fact that Ketchup went out there, giving him that time to ease in with that focus, if anything was going to be a highway robbery here is if Nito is actually able to take the stock. Such a close game right now. Nito with max range. Oh, I like it. Dude, focuses and then gets out of oh. the position. Oh no, Mega Koopa, you have to respect it. Such a scary position to be in for both players right now. Nito with 178%. How's he gonna get back to uh, the Ah, you would get the little extra low too, just to try to get around. Oh. That's it, that's it, no. All right. Not even the sweet spot. Didn't die to that, and I don't do Nito. Both of these characters' recoveries, both of these players' recoveries have been super on point. His last that was such a good understanding. He knew he was gonna go for it, man. He lived and died by side B. Catch up side being off of the ledge, hitting his shield and regretting it instantly. Nito catching him with that, if I'm not mistaken, up B out of shield. Mm -hmm. The it, minute he saw him like cross him up already, he just immediately reacted. Like that probably wasn't even regular, regular like that wasn't even the input, the like quarter circle input. Or no, his, that's not a quarter circle. That's a, actually you know what you only get the flame. You so you only get the flames if you go for the half circle input. 